Greetings everyone, the Goods and Eyes here, and welcome to Elkan Spectre DR Review 2 Electric Boogaloo. So, had a fantastic pro gamer move I thought of for helping out us with this little, um, well, helping me out with this little review for you guys. So, there's these things here called uh, quick detach li uh, levers, and it turns out if you uh, pop both of those open real quick, you can actually remove the optic from the rifle. I know, pretty fantastic, right? It's your uh, pro strat there. So let's take another look here at the op at the optic separate from the weapon. So you got your Elkan Spectre DR stuff, iron sights. You can get a nice little view of the iron sights. They work a lot like that. Although you should probably be focused on the front sight post, not the rear one. But hey, cameras are wonky. Now for the actual view, this worked a lot better the first time. Really? Oh baby! Wow. Okay, that's just trippy. Come on up. There it is. Ta da! So you can see my shoulder and my um, branded t shirt there. So, yeah, that looks is more or less what your view is going to be. Something around those lines there. So, that's pretty neat. Well, that's cool. It's a lot shakier because I'm trying to hold it two handed. And that's uh, what happens when uh, blood is pumping through your artery. So, um, that's a thing. So, now. Before we start going into anything too crazy, see we've got our battery case here, I'm actually going to pop that open. This rotates on its own, and this is the separate one for actually adjusting the power settings. So let's just pop that open real quick. And as you can see, there is our CR1620 battery, and that's what you're going to power the majority of these replicas with. So, that's got that cool little wire thing going on. So you got your retention wire, so you know you don't lose your battery cap, because that's kind of no bueno. So. The front, you can see we got the protective lens on there to keep everything safe, and you can actually see that little uh, protective thing pop out of the way when not in use. And you can see it's doing the reverse magnification because everything's small on the other end now. You pop over to that side, come on! Yo, like, seriously, what? what? So the eye relief's not the greatest, but hey, look! Wood grain! How neat! And as the numbers at the bottom, you can tell the stuff is going on. So we're actually gonna. Flip that back to 1x. We're going to turn the power on max because 1 and I, this is really a pain in the uh, rump to turn. So you turn that on. Whoa, cool. Red light. There you are back on uh, 1x there. Neat. Look at that uh, high quality wood. Yep, identifying wood. Very neat. Okay, that light's just out of control. It looks a lot better when you're using your actual eyeball. So bear that. And oh god. We've entered the warp. <laughs> All right, so that's pretty cool. And then you throw that lever forward. Wachonk! Now you're zoomed in. So you'll notice the uh, reticule doesn't adjust. So where the uh, drop-off was earlier is now way higher than it is, is way higher now than it was then. So you can't really go off of that unless you're doing BB stuff. It's not going to survive a real weapon, so that's the uh, big takeaway there. So, so that back to 1x. Let's actually pop over here. We're going to slip that camera over. Rotate up there, and hey, yo! Bam! That's a lot easier to do from the rear end, so it, <laughs> The rear end of the camera. No, do not take that out of context. Yeah, there you go. Boom! Headshot! So. Got that going on there, and then you throw the lever forward, watcha! And everything is zoo. What's going on? Where are we looking? Oh, yeah, there's the. There he is. Hi! So, as you can see, the, um, the lower portion of the bullet drop off is now up on his neck and not in his torso. So, yeah, that's uh, super wonky. Cool, but super wonky. So, move the camera back over here real quick. Go chunk. All right, cool. So, that's more or less everything that goes into the Elkin that I didn't cover previously. And there's the bottom, so you can see there's little bits there that latch on when you crank down on the uh, lever. So, pretty neat. Throw down the lever, I think I showed last time. Just push it down before you move it. And uh, there's your elevation switch here, or elevation adjustment, bevel, and front and rear is all gonna be, or right and left is all going to be done from the side here. 
So, Elkan weighs about a pound. Pretty cool. Keep the battery lid closed. And that's basically part 2.0, so... Yeah, that eye relief is a pain. I mean, it works, it's functional, but... If someone gives you a real oil can, I say take it. So, that's all I wanted to do. I just wanted to cover that for you guys real quick, so... Yay. Cheers. Stay chill, everyone. See you in the next video.